Well, it's getting to be that time of year, folks. This Thursday, this coming Thursday, is Thanksgiving here in the United States. So today I'm going to shave with turkey giblet gravy. That's, I'm not going to, what are you, crazy? That's disgusting. I can't believe you guys would think that. I took a shower and I did my hair. I'm just going to shave today. I'm kind of cobbled together a shave here. The soap today, <laughs> sorry for all of you that got excited temporarily that I was going to shave with gravy. I'm keeping this until the end. Of uh, so November thirtieth or December first, I don't know one, one or the other. It's coming off, coming off. There's, there's a close up for you in glorious HD. So we're doing the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements CAD, which is their cease and desist because they were trying to smell like Barbasol, and the name originally was something closer to Barbasol. I can't remember. It was like Barber's Soul or something. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't smell like Barbasol to me. Not even close. It's, it smells fine. It smells good. So I'm gonna try that. It's a little sample, and I'm gonna lather it up with the old Sinatra linen brush, because it's kind of small, and this is small, see? And just go right together. <laughs> and Grandpa Grungy's gonna do the work for us today, because we still have not, at least I have not, received my, um, what is it, Global Shaving Club fat guy. So I'm gonna just re-familiarize myself with old Grandpa Grungy here, the 1960 Gillette fat boy. Now, he, now here he is in all of his HD glory. You know, one of these days, I'm going to do this for aftershave. One of these days I'm going to uh, put up a 4K, like 60 frame per second video, shaving video. It can't be very long because, man, it would take forever to upload that. I'm not even sure if I could do it or if my phone could handle it or what. This is kind of hard to get it out of a sample. You sh I really should scoop this out into a bowl. But I'm lazy today. I, we had a big outing. Had a big outing today. We walked around the uh, Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center here. So you can Google that. Lady Bird Johnson, the first lady during uh, Lyndon Johnson's presidency. His wife. She's always been about beautification of our country and our highways. And here in Austin, there is a wildflower center with her name. It's a gorgeous outdoor area. And when the wildflowers are blooming in March and April... It's breathtakingly beautiful. So we just did a family walk around. We explored. It was a gorgeous day. It's nice to get outside. And uh, yeah, the holiday season's kicking off. They're so they're decorating for Christmas and everything else. All right, mm, this stuff smells good. Phoenix, uh, you know, artisan accoutrements. They make good stuff. They make good stuff. That cello that always gets me. I've got this on seven which is what I normally do with a feather blade. So expect a nick or two if I'm not paying attention, which I should be doing every time, but sometimes I'm just yakking and talking to you guys and I forget what I'm doing and then the blood starts to flow. Darkness falls across the land. <laughs> I can't remember what's that thriller, that Vincent Price thriller section. To terrorize y'all's neighborhood. The evil of the thriller. Da -da -da. <laughs> okay, that's silly. <laughs> Sorry to any new viewers who might be trying to watch this and like, what the heck? What the heck is this guy doing? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> I'm just shaving and chatting. That's what we're doing. Shave and chat. It's a lovely little shave and chat. So, for all of you Americans that are celebrating Thanksgiving, what is the one thing, the one food item that you require at Thanksgiving time? Is it the obvious turkey? Of course, turkey. Ham sometimes. Is it gravy? Giblet gravy? You know what giblets are, right? Kids, you know what giblets are? Google it, you'll get grossed out, but they taste so good. I know, I know. It's the organs, it's the turkey organs. No, not the organs the turkeys play. No, they're like the heart and the you know, I don't even know what else. But they're good. They taste like really intense, soft turkey. That's just, I'm not doing a very good job of selling it, am I? Turkey organs, anyone? And, uh, all right, second pass. Uh, is it sweet potatoes? Is it candied yams with marshmallows on top? Is it stuffing or dressing, however you want to call it? My dad has an incredible recipe for sausage stuffing. I absolutely adore. 
green bean casserole with French's onions on top. This is all very American. I'm not sure what we're gonna do this this uh, this Thanksgiving. We're a little worried with you know the way things are going in the uh, health wise with the sickness. So we might err on the side of caution and stay at home. I don't want to, but I'm gonna probably be smart about it, I guess. I mean, after so many things we've had to give up this year, gonna have to give up Thanksgiving with our extended family. We're supposed to be having our big family Thanksgiving up in Kansas City this year. We do it every other year, but we're not gonna be able to do that. Ah, oh, I miss it. I miss Kansas City. Hello, Kansans. And Missourians, Kansas City, Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri. You both share that. I still don't understand how that works. Who 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 founded it? Where was the first house built? I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to get into sort of a border war with you guys or anything. But just to let you know, I love Kansas City. If you've never been there, it's beautiful. Beautiful place. A lot of history. The Jazz Age. All right. Mm. Now, like I say, this stuff does not smell like Barbasol. It doesn't smell like the 1919. It doesn't smell like their canned stuff. It doesn't smell like their vintage stuff. It's its own thing. It just smells like a soapy. I like the Barbasol scent better than this, but this isn't bad. That's why I wanted, I just wanted to try it because everyone kept telling me years ago, have you tried the CAD? It's just like Barbasol. And you know me, I gotta try that. I bit, I took the bait. It's good. It's fine, it's good. It's good, it's, good. it's okay, it's great, it's great. <laughs> that was almost a Chevy Chase impersonation from Christmas Vacation when he's about to have his nervous breakdown and he's drinking eggnog. <laughs> All right, let's see how we did, folks. Did I get any nicks? I don't see any. Oh, Grandpa Grungy, you're my boy. You're my boy! All right. <laughs> Got a little bit here I'm going to take care of. Wade back into the waters just a little bit. You know, to shave as much as you want. Leave some if you want. It's up to you. Oh, I keep forgetting I don't have to shave underneath my nostrils right now. That's always a place I get right at the end. Shave off. See all these different directions? I'm going up and down and sideways. So you got to do it. You got to do it. If you want a crazy, clean, close shave like me, you got to work for it, baby. You got to work for it. Don't be afraid to do a little work. All right. That's good enough. Good enough. I don't want to push my luck any further. Get some cold water on the old face here. Coldish. Not freezing. I need to have sync cam down here so you can see when I my face is down out of frame. Oh, how do you like that? It's not like I'm a professional. Oh, out, were you out of frame? Was your cinematographer on the, not on the job today, Mr. Lennon? All right. Mmm. <laughs> Chiseled face. Cryogen aftershave. So cold. Such a beautiful golden color. Looks like a lovely orangey whiskey, but it's not. It's aftershave. It's very cold, very mentholated. Ooh, I think there's some crystals in it. What's going on? Oh, I think there might be some little menthol crystals growing in there. Ooh, mmm. It's a scent I can't quite place. It's got the menthol, got all that, but then it's got something else, the fragrance. It's not licorice but it's not too far off of that. But it, you know, if you don't like licorice, I understand. Hmm, hmm. It's an earthy, it's a fougere probably. I like them apples, fougere. <laughs> Look out, Mr. Smelly. <laughs> All right, is that it? Am I done? My eyes are watering, that means it's time to shut it down. Well, happy Thanksgiving to all my fellow uh, North Americans and whoever else celebrates uh, Thanksgiving, even if you're not from North America. Maybe you just like the idea of it, and so you do it wherever you are. Well, have a good Thanksgiving. 
don't eat too much, take a nice nap afterwards, go out in the yard and throw the football around with the kids, and uh, be safe, be healthy, and I will see you all on Friday when it'll be almost time to shave this sucker off. Your days are numbered, Mr. Goatee. Bye.